Alright, that's the plan. This is not going to be fun to drive like this, though. I can't even see far enough in front of me to avoid things. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to suck. Well... Guess folks are going to have to put up with this insanely slow move speed. <laughs> Good thing it's maneuverable as, as all get out. So when I see a rock like that, if it's in my path, I can uh, immediately try to dodge around it. But I've got like a one space opportunity to dodge something. So once I get on the road, it'll be a little better. But I can't see wrecks. So... And a vehicle is not going to cause the autosave to engage. Man, this this is rough. This near and far sighted stuff is yuck. I almost guarantee I'm going to smack into a vehicle. The good thing is I'm only doing 20 miles per hour, so I don't think I'll do much damage when I do. <laughs> Not if. It'll be when. I'm going to need to call the episode to a close here pretty quick. Um, I think when the next episode starts, it won't take me too long to get down to that cathedral. I'll, I'll try to fast forward through here. We'll see if we can get this done. Long straightaways like this will really help out. Luckily, the vehicles on a, a road like this are going to be fairly infrequent. I'm almost more worried about uh, animals and zombies. Not going very fast. Alright, cut south again, please. Alright, we've got a little ways to dip. There's, there's a vehicle. Um, do I stop? Uh, not for things in trunks. Getting to the cathedral is going to by far be my best opportunity to try to get a second pair of glasses and see if those, if it'll let me wear to, and if I've got the right types, if it will, uh... Alright, um, not sure what's causing that. I think we might be dead here, though. Um, yeah, pain 78, big explosion... Um, this could be a grenadier throwing grenades at us. There could be a lot of things doing this. So we might be dying right here. <laughs> There's bodies here, so I think it's something firing at us. Wow, I'm not sure what's kicking all that off, but we got hammered. We went from full health to damn near dead. Didn't damage the vehicle hardly at all. We lost the headlight, which I think we had lost previously, but the vehicle didn't take any damage. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's the joy of not being able to see a thing. Um... Whoa, that's not looking good. Is that a minefield indicator? Yep. Hello, minefield. <laughs> ah! Yeah, this went from... Get out. Uh, all right. And we'll be dying right here. <laughs> uh, all right. 
Um, this is where our prison escape is going to end. Uh, not exactly the way I expected to go out. Um, <laughs> this was a pretty amazing confluence of events again. Um, so we got... I'm still not sure what was off on the road there that was kicking out regular explosions. That wasn't a minefield. I'm trying to think of what that was. The only thing I can think of was a zombie grenadier kicking out uh, manhacks, grenade manhacks, but I didn't see a manhack indication. It could have been a chicken walker. I think it, I would expect... Uh, what what does explosions like? I'm not sure what was doing the initial explosions. That was bad enough. We got out of there only to run directly into a minefield which had buildings next to it which drifted me back into the minefield which then had spitter zombies and acid zombies nearby. <laughs> so I think, unfortunately, our uh, prison escape series is uh, is at an end. There's no way I'm getting out of this. I'm at pain 271. Uh, legs are just about to go away. They'll disappear here before we can get out of the acid. So our arms are both broke. Our legs are both broke. And with all the negative effects that we've got going on, I think we just hit the end of this particular playthrough. Um, we'll see if we can take this guy with us, but yeah, I, I, I'm not going to continue this, unfortunately. <laughs> so, this is a pretty ugly way to go. But those caves hit us pretty bad with, uh, really, the near far sighted. That, that's what killed me. Um, anything else I could have dealt with, with no problem. But the near far sight combination and only being able to see four spaces means that I couldn't see anything I was driving into. So, we took a big risk in traveling, but I... I would have had the same problem if I was on foot, so the vehicle and traveling like that I don't think was a big consequence. We just got really, really unlucky with the way the map was generated and what it put in front of us and the combination of that plus the effects we had had. So them's the brakes, that's the cataclysm. And there goes our legs, just trying to get off of the space. <laughs> and it hopefully auto-saved for us. <laughs> uh, all right well technically we're still alive the vehicle's trashed all of our stuff is going to be stuck here we're at 288 pain <laughs> broken arms and legs huh um i mean i can throw first aid kits on and heal some of this up but ugh I don't know if I have it in me to bother. Ouch. I'm going to have to leave all of this stuff behind. We lost our, our nifty vehicle. How's it looking? So, is it still drivable? It might still be drivable, actually, with one wheel gone. Mm, oh, the ch yeah, the armored wheel's gone, but that shouldn't affect it. Actually, it might still be drivable. Let's find out. Okay, slow the hell down. Goddamn vehicle. <laughs> I think I have no control. Um, all right, now I've got some control back. Well, we're on the road again. Let's uh, let's have some codeine. Let's slow down right here for a second. Let go of the controls. Apply. If anything's nearby, it's going to come right at me. First aid kit. So this might kill me if there's anything nearby. We've got that applied. Let's do another one. Apply. First aid kit. The torso. Apply. First aid kit to head. So we got our head and torso put back. Uh, our arms and legs are all still broke, though. 
So we're going to have horrendous issues. We're going to keep going though. We're still alive. <laughs> Somehow.